Oh my god, look at this truck. If that doesn't say I have a small penis, I have no idea what does. Good morning, everyone. Last night was pretty interesting. I arrested a guy that got caught not just once, but twice trying to steal beer from the convenience store. The funny part about it was the fact that he gave the beer back both times. He didn't even try to walk out of the store. He was like, oh man, and gave it back. I ended up finding this guy across the street and I got out of my car and I was like, hey man, come talk to me for a second. This dude stopped dead in his tracks, looked at me, and then turned around and kept walking. So I did a little brisk job up to him and put him in handcuffs. And of course this dude had no idea what I was talking about. Even with surveillance footage showing him doing it, he still had no idea. This guy was so drunk, he pissed all over himself. I love dropping drunk people off at the jail because the jailers always look at you like, really? And I'm always like, yeah, have fun, bye. So anyway, today's topic, you wanna be on the SWAT team. You wanna be one of those tactical guys. Being on the SWAT team is awesome, but there's a few things you need to learn before you get into it. Most departments need a few years of experience before they even let you try out for the SWAT team. Tryouts for the SWAT team are pretty rough. Most departments have like this extensive obstacle course and you have to shoot like a 90% or better. Most cops shoot between 70 and 80%, so it kind of puts you above the rest. And for those of you that are thinking about getting into a career in law enforcement, let me tell you this. Most departments don't have a full-time SWAT team. Unless you're working somewhere like Dallas or Atlanta, you're gonna be a part-time SWAT officer. So you're gonna have like, you're either gonna be on the patrol division or you'll be in traffic or detective or whatever, but you'll also be on the SWAT team. So if some shit goes down, they're gonna call you. You have to be in pretty good shape to be on the SWAT team. You don't need to be like a gym rat or anything, but be in decent shape. Even though I wholeheartedly agree that you need to be in good physical shape to be on the SWAT team, I do think there are other factors that are more important. I don't care if you can bench press 500 pounds. If you're not smart enough to know how to clear a building and to read your other team members, you don't need to be on the team. I like my team members to have some intelligence and common sense. That's it. Now, the last department I was at, we had a team of about 10 people, and we trained every other week uh, for the majority of the afternoon. Not everybody makes it on the team. This is not one of those instances where everybody gets a trophy, everybody gets a chance. No, if you don't qualify, you don't make the team. It's simple as that. There is no room for Humpty Dumpty over here to be making mistakes. There are certain parts of tryouts that I don't necessarily agree with. I don't think you should have to run a mile and a half and full gear to be able to pass your test. To me, I can't think of one instance where an entire team is gonna need to run a mile and a half to chase a suspect. SWAT does not chase. That's why we have patrol officers everywhere else. If you want realistic training, put on 80 pounds of gear and stand there in the sun for four hours. That's more realistic. God knows I had a blast in SWAT though. Every day we started out like we were cleaning our pistols and rifles and we stood there talking like a bunch of little high school girls and gossiping about all the latest news that was going on in the department. We had a little rule that whatever happened at SWAT training stayed at SWAT training. And even after all these years, I'm still not going to go in depth on some of the weird shit that happened during training. I'll just say there were some high ranking officers, there were some low ranking officers, and we all shared information on what we knew. Part of it was to squash rumors that were going on and the other part of it was just because we're nosy. We're cops, we get paid to be nosy. We worked hard and we trained hard together, but we had a blast when it was time to do any sort of like active shooter training or anything like that. I can't speak for all departments, but at the one I was at, we actually used paintball guns and a modified like paint round for these customized Glocks that were just for what we called simunition training. So we basically got to shoot the shit out of each other and got paid for it. And that's some of the best training you can do as a SWAT team is actual practical shooting. I don't know what it was, but I thoroughly enjoyed playing the bad guy, both for the SWAT team and for the new officers that were coming in. I loved it when these new guys came in and they were so cocky, they thought they could own the entire world and I would come in there and I would blast the hell out of them. Knock them down a notch or two. Hey fool, here's a wake up call. You might actually die out here. I remember one particular training scenario uh, the SWAT team came in, I was playing bad guy, and of course I like dart out of this room and I go hauling ass down the hallway and dipped around the corner. So like as I'm walking down this dark corridor, way off in the distance, I see this like shadow passing through a doorway. I was like, what the hell was that? So I stood there for a second and then I see another little shadow passing towards the doorway. I quickly figured out it was the two sniper units that were trying to sneak up behind me. So I creeped through the little hallway, I snuck up behind them, and I shot both of them in the back of the head. I made one of them call on the radio that both sniper units were down. So after I took them out, I went down the hallway again, it was like a big rectangular type of building, and I snuck up behind the team. I ended up taking out three people in the stack. 
A stack is kind of self-explanatory. It's when a bunch of officers are stacked together. That's what it's called in SWAT. I took out three team members and they lit my ass up. I had paintball bruises from my forehead down to my shins. They lit me up like a Roman candle. So if you did the math correctly, then you would understand there were three people left in the stack. I thought it was hilarious when my SWAT commander at the time, he came up to me. He said, man, I'm so glad that you are on our side. And of course I stood there like Clark Kent about to morph into Superman. In another funny instance, you guys are totally going to think I'm a dick. I've always been fascinated with like DIY projects and all that, so I figured out how to make smoke bombs at home. All it is is a mixture of potassium nitrate and sugar. Two thirds potassium nitrate, one third sugar. It melts down into like a brown frosting. Let it cool down, you can light it on fire. It is awesome. So the building that we were training at was actually an abandoned school. Uh, it had been abandoned for like two or three years, I guess, and they were gonna demolish it. So they let us use it for training. I filled the entire school up with smoke with just like a small ammo box worth of this potassium nitrate stuff. So during one of the scenarios, I can actually see the two LED white light strips on the front of the shield coming through this smoke, and they couldn't see me at all. I don't know how I did it, and I would never be able to do it twice if my life depended on it. I fired one round. All I hear coming from the background is, Oh, you motherfucker! So long story short, after the scenario is over, the guy that I shot comes up to me and he shows me this huge welt right between his goggles and his helmet. It was the perfect shot. I can't say that shot was based on skill. It was purely chance all the way. So this guy comes up. I actually talked about him in another video, uh, Boston, and he comes up to me and he is pissed and he's like, which one of you motherfuckers shot me? Here's where I was a dick. I lied to him and I totally told him I was laying on the ground, man. I don't know. It must have been the other dude. So fast forward to the next scenario. Another guy playing bad guy, he ends up getting shot, he falls to the ground, plays dead. As the SWAT team is walking through the hall, this guy is laying on the ground and Boston walks over and shoots him right in the dick. Two years later, I finally told them both what actually happened. I thought it was hilarious. NASCAR got shot in the dick for no reason. So guys, on a final note, yes, SWAT is absolutely fun, but it's not what you see on TV. Do not mistake it for what you see on TV. There's no music that starts playing. There's no half-naked women that come out. It is terrifying. When you are breaking into someone's house who is armed with a weapon, it is the most terrifying shit you'll ever do. You can feel your heartbeat in the base of your throat. I'm not going to give the details to the case or anything or how we found out, but we ended up getting called to a house one time. This guy was supposed to have barricaded himself in the house, and he said he was going to kill himself, suicide by cop. He was going to have us shoot him. So we bust open the door. Like, it took us forever to clear this house because we knew this guy was armed and we were trying to be extra careful. We get back to the back bedroom, and this guy is, like, fluttering on his bed. He's twitching all over the place. Turns out he had already shot himself in the head. The gun was on uh, the bed next to him. And I guess the, his like nerves were firing off for a few more minutes before he finally died. That kind of shit is freaky. Needless to say, if you ever get on the SWAT team, you're going to be exposed to some brutal stuff. Don't let that discourage you though. If this is something you really want to do, do it, but make sure you know what you're getting into. SWAT is no joke. Guys, if you like the video, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be off Monday and Tuesday, so I'll try to get a video out then. I had to get one out before the end of the weekend, though. I try to upload as much as I can for you guys. I really do. But, man, I get so tired. Like, right now, I'm a zombie right now. You guys are awesome, and I will see you soon. Yeah.